And then we found that most of the things we observed could be explained on the basis of this old paper, I think it's 1970, 1975, there you go, from a professor of anatomy from Cornell University, Dr. Sack, who uh, very meticulously described the nerve distribution in the distal limit of horse based on dissections he did on fetuses and, uh, and uh, post-mortem material. Okay, so I'll take you through the different blocks and through some of the observations, what they do block and what they don't block. First of all, the palmar digital nerve block. So this is the workhorse of most foot lameness diagnosis, if you want. So we're gonna pay a little bit of attention to this particular block here. Okay, the first thing I wanna say <coughs> is a palmar digital nerve block blocks out pain in the coffin joint. It was a bit of a surprise when that first came out. But I found this to be consistently the case since then. So how was this identified? Endotoxin was injected in the coffin joint of horses that were not laid. So we're looking at the average labor score of eight horses before pain was induced. There was no labor present. After pain was induced with synovitis, the average labor score was three out of four. We'll be using different latest grading scales based on the papers that these data come out of. Uh, I know we tend to work mostly out of 10, but you'll see numbers out of five, and this here is out of four. So on average, these horses were pretty lame after inducing synovitis in the coffee joint, as you saw in that video. 15 minutes after a palmar digital nerve block, every horse was completely sound. Okay, no question about it. So that was a surprising finding that most of us didn't realize was going to happen. So based on that observation, we decided that the dorsal digital nerves, these ones here, as you can see here, or the dorsal branches of the palmar digital nerve, as they're sometimes referred to, that they do not innervate the joint capsule of the distal interphalangeal joint, because obviously you don't need to desensitize them to desensitize the distal interphalangeal joint. So these are cutaneous branches only, which means they innervate the skin at the coronary band and the dorsal lamina of the hoof wall, we think. What about pain in the pastern joint, proximal interphalangeal joint? So again, we injected endotoxin in the pastern joint of a number of horses. You again see in this time out of 10 that these horses had no lameness before endotoxin was injected. After the toxin injection, the average labor score was 7 out of 10. And then the palm additional nerve block was performed 1 centimeter above, 2 centimeters above, and 3 centimeters above the collateral cartilage of the foot, which you see here. The ungular cartilage or collateral cartilage of the foot. And you can see that progressively as we go higher, there was a, a more improvement in the average labor score of this group of horses, which was considered statistically significant at two and three centimeters proximal to the collateral cartilage of the foot. And the reason for this is, if you look at Dr. Sachs' drawings, the branch that he considers responsible for innovation of the pastern joint arises from the palmar digital nerves about the level of the joint, as you can see there. So the level of the joint would be here, if we perform a palmar digital nerve block at the level of the collateral cartilage of the foot, and that's not taking into consideration the proximal diffusion that may occur, then we should be injecting distal to that branch. However, if we go higher up the pastern, and many people do that palmar digital nerve block at mid pastern level, then you can almost be almost certain that you've also anesthetized the branch that provides sensation to the pastern joint. So as far as the, as, as the palmar digital nerve block is concerned, some of the things to keep in mind is to inject as small a volume as possible. And here we state 1.5 cc. Uh, obviously, the smaller the volume, the smaller the proximal diffusion that will occur. And secondly, more proximal injections with larger volumes, of course, are more likely to desensitize the pastern joint, which you don't really want from your palmar digital nerve block. So it's not like this. It's more like this. And then the yellow area remains innervated by the dorsal branches of the palmar digital nerve that are cutaneous in nature only. 